Rand Rusher says her service dog changed her life after she was raped at gunpoint nearly 40 years ago. Two men broke into the Nanny Star's LA home in 1985 and raped her in the front. I am a survivor who has managed to get on with my life in spite of the veil of PTSD that I have learned to live with, she said earlier this month at the UN Women for Peace Association luncheon lunch into in violence against women, and I am rarely alone without my service dog. I am often amazed by how much more relaxed I am walking down the streets, moving through airports or entering a hotel room because I am with my friend, companion and protector. She added, I have a full, rich life full of both pleasure and purpose. Treasure, who has campaigned for stricter laws against violence, but at the event that she is one of the lucky ones who live to see her attacker sentenced to 150 years in prison. She said, we all, as a collective, must have zero tolerance for any and all misconduct from the most minor wolf whistles on the street to denying of education, who can marry or not marry at all, what to wear, legislating a woman's body, work pay quality, to physical abuse, rape, human trafficking and enslavement. Every aspect of disrespecting a woman's rights is an eventual justification towards violence, she said. Guests included Rita Cosby, Amanda Diaz, Kat Graham, and Genesis Jones, playing the court with Benjamin W. Decker, Barbara Tober, Layla Harrell, and Singer Fred and Susan Gutheran. The association gave awards to Ambassador Rosemary DiCarlo, Christian Elliott, Vicki Hollab, and Kevin Hyland OBE, plus a special Lifetime Achievement Award to Joanne King Heron, who was famously played by Julia Roberts in Charlie Wilson's War, and a posthumous award to one of the founder, Dame Unilai Oni Al Nasser.